Hello, my fellow Rome 2 players. The Rip here, this time alone, because Pointman didn't get back uh, for some reason. So, this is the third battle of match between Agony and VM teams in Pantheon of Heroes tournament. As you can see, it's 2v2. I think it's best of three match. Uh, in the first game, Agony lost. In the second game, V. Oh, come on. Agony won first game. In the second game, they lost. And uh, what we can see in all games, elephants and chariots have heavy use. And uh, in this game, it doesn't seem to be very different. So, Agony Red picked Arverni, as we can see. There is five Spear Nobles on his front, supported by uh, three Oswans. Then there is two more Oswans, uh, two Heavy Horses and uh, Noble Horse. Uh, now let's see, take a look at Russian Prince. Uh, Seleucids, four Chariots, four Elephants. Uh, then his front line, some mix of two Thorax Swordsmen and, uh, no wait, three. And uh, two Royal Peltas, including his gen. Then there is one Light Peltas. Uh, okay, now let's take a look at VM team. First, Pensioner as a Macedon. Again, fairly pike heavy approach. Two hopletes, uh, three hopletes to support. But his front is foot, sorox, foot, sorox, 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 and foot companion. Yeah, pretty much the same build as previous game. So, pikes on the front as a shield, pretty much. With some cavalry to charge from behind, not enough. Ca actually, not that much cavalry this time at all. Uh, one Aspis and one companion cavalry for Macedon. Let's see, archers here, just for flaming arrows, I guess. For Egypt, we have two, two Ptolemaic calf, one chariots, four F elephants, and one, two, three, four, five, six Galatian royal guards and. Quite honestly, I'm not sure if in this patch Galatians are worth it. Uh, because they cost more than uh, Royal Peltas. But uh, if you take Royal Peltas and disable... Uh, where are they? Yeah, Royal Peltas with disabled formational attack actually could be even stronger. Uh, their weakness is charge. And melee defense, yeah, but they have much better uh, atta melee attack. So let's see how this uh, goes. Because right now I think Red... Uh, it looked like Red making a mistake. You see, I think if Pensioner now creates a pike wall, uh, then Galatians can actually go and uh, destroy these uh, Spear Nobles fairly easily, but Prussian Prince actually goes frontally for pikes and you see how he doesn't go through but tries to go uh, diagonally and funnily enough who said you can deal like you see the difference compared to the first game seven rose pikes three chariots destroyed in a second agony in a trouble right now in a big trouble Prussian Prince got too lazy to flank and he's punished for that. Uh, let's see how he deals with his, like, deals his crisis management. And now slight problem for Chitak here, his Galatians will not get a proper charge bonus. Uh, yeah, problem for him for sure. Here Sorg Swordsman and uh, Royal Peltas engaging but Engaging frontally against food companions. Uh, not smart at all, but now you can see how they're actually getting through pikes. They're getting closer uh, without losing too much yet. Uh, here, let's see. So the Sorg Swordsman getting destroyed by chariots and... Uh, hoplit Hoplites? Yeah. Well, chariots killed enough. Actually, you know, VM team simply plays better this game. I just, just... Agony team simply plays... Like, too simple, too lazy, too stupid. 
I guess. Uh, I guess, like, I can say at the beginning, yes, Prussian Prince underestimated the uh, power of chariots, that's for sure. But uh, instead of trying to somehow readjust uh, their plan, their forces, they just went with it. And for me, it's quite obvious here that uh, against this force of Galatians, Red shouldn't have engaged at all. It wasn't smart at all. Now, not only his spears cannot win against Galatians, they are not allowing uh, elephants of Prussian Prince to actually go and uh, stampede, to stomp on enemy Galatians. So quite obviously they are not getting enough kills. These Indian armored elephants, uh, they already uh, f two elephant down and they only killed 50 men so far. And uh, the time is gold here because at the moment Prussian Prince on his flank losing. Oh, but man, look at these elephants. These Indian armored elephants actually already killed over 200 men. Could this single unit somehow change the tide of a game? Unlikely, but it's possible. Uh, chariots at the same time, 200 kills. It's like, y you need to keep cavalry specifically to counter these units, which uh, Red did. His heavy horse uh, and heavy horses are quite good at tanking. For their price, it's uh, one of the cheapest cavalry units with uh, 90 health and uh, 50 armor is decent. So they are very good, in my opinion, at countering uh, chariots. These elephants, they can't keep moving, they got stuck in the end. Uh, and I think... I think it's done. It's pretty much done. These elephants, they are stuck, they cannot get any speed, they cannot push. We can see that they are trying, but uh, they are not really moving through. Oh, finally, when there is less units on the field, Red tries to do some hammer and anvil. But I think it's way too late at this point. Uh, GG is called. GG indeed. It's just... It was fairly obvious what VM team doing. It was simple, but it was more solid. Uh, so good game, good game, uh, well played by VM, and we will know know now if it's best of five or best of three, because if it's best of three, obviously VM team uh, made a comeback and won, and if it's not, then maybe not. Hmm. Yes, I, I like how, like, VM team, their weakness is if they would be flanked. Uh, they, like, they found a way to use these uh, pikes nicely as a shield. And in this particular case, it even went very nicely. They, uh, two factions faced each other in a very convenient way for VM military clan. Pikes facing Seleucids and uh, Galatians facing these uh, Spear Nobles. And it just went much better for VM, yeah. And man, Prussian Prince. Like, if... Look how much he managed to kill. He still went kill effective, even with losing those chariots. If he could just kept them behind, safer, if he... He probably first game uh, distracted him, confused him. He thought he can go frontally again and win, but uh, no. Uh, deeper bike formations, that's our answer to chariots. Okay, let's see if there is another game or not. No, there is not another game. VM team wins, so congratulations to Chitak and Pensioner. Uh, good attempt for Prussian Prince and Red, but, uh, well... I already said it, uh, I didn't like how they played last game at all. So thank you guys for watching and see you later. And my recording doesn't want to stop.